Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Saturday morning, uh, middle of June, and I've got a lot of work to do. It's been raining pretty much constantly, on and off, uh, but I got a little bit of a respite here where I can do some work. Uh, just of note, I did see a deer running from the garden to the woods, <laughs> so I wonder, I wonder what they did. Ooh, it looks like they might have been grazing on the peas because the peas look a little bit uh, messed up. So anyway, I might have to put up the deer fence. They may have discovered it. Um, also, we have butterflies in the garden, you can see here. And they are pollinators, so I'm really happy. See how they're over here by the flowers and the tomatoes, so lots of butterflies. Uh, it looks like the spinach has bolted, so I need to get rid of that. But today I've got a lot of tasks to do. I want to finish up the, the paths here, put the wood chips down, and I want to put up the uh, trellis to make you jealous from Josh Satin. I'm going to put that across so that I can, you know, grow the zucchinis and the cucumbers vertically. So uh, I've got a lot of work to do and let's get started. The idea here is to use the T-post and I'll probably put in a f probably four T-posts, we'll have to see, but I'll put the T-post in the actual bed like that, put, put one of these one and a quarter inch PVCs on top. And then the half-inch uh, conduit will go through. So I'll just, and then uh, also we have little uh, conduit uh, couplers that we'll put in there. So yeah, I'll see what I need to do here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and measure out and uh, make all this happen. So stay tuned. Try to put this in the middle. Right there. Oop, we got a Japanese beetle. Little bugger. Looks like I need to put out some bags. Just tapping it in, just so it's in the ground.
All right, that'll definitely hold. I just need to get my uh, hacksaw and cut that off. All right, and then we'll go over the, we'll string them up and see how that works. task I had I found a bunch of these they're they're very light they're aluminum but uh, what I'll do is stake these in the ground and I'll use this tape from its intergrow grow twine and I'll basically take one of these four inch cable ties and I'll just make you know a circle and then I'll tie the string to the to that circle and that way I can move it if I have to. And then I'll stake it into the ground and then we'll have, for example, these beans growing up that string here. So that's the idea anyway. <laughs> so we'll see if it works. Okay, I've decided for these beans, I'm gonna put more of a, a uh, you know, the cattle panel, hog panel trellis. So I just wanna see about 40, 40 inches, 42 inches. I need to cut some of this off. Oh, I don't want to take that much. Um, let's see, this might be good for just a portion of it. Yeah, that's plenty. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off a little bit of this and then I'll go over there and get some more and we'll make a nice, trellis for the beans instead of these poles. The poles are doing okay, but I think maybe the trellis will work a little better. All right, so let me go ahead and use the master key. Nice piece. Now I can either just put it right here, let it grow up. I don't think it's tall enough for that. So yeah, I think I'll just let it lean against that. And uh, the beans will just grow up. Hopefully I'll train them up. That should do. Okay, I'll get some more trellising and uh, be right back.
Hey folks, looks like we got our first bean here. First couple beans. These are those purple beans. So I'm going to go ahead and pick them. Alright, okay, uh, this, these beans are growing up this camera strap, so I'm going to just extract the strap carefully and send them on their way <laughs> over here. Same with this guy. Hopefully, I might have to zip tie them. Oh, but if I look under here, I got some too. Yeah. Okay, I'm just basically tying this. To the uh, zip tie and then get one of these for example and I'm gonna stake close to this one a taut line hitch <laughs> if I can with a string yep taut line hitch yep so that's what I'll do I'll just go down I think these might be too close together but I'll try to separate them Okay, I'm about, I guess about halfway done here. And what I'm doing is I'm pruning as I go and weeding. <laughs> and you can see I've pruned a bunch of the suckers off. And this little zip tie here, the four inch zip tie, has the grow string attached down to the stake. And it's opened up everything. And I've even cut some of the leaves out so that, you know, I've got some peppers in here too. I don't want them to be crowded out. So, you know, I'm carefully looking for any suckers. And uh, it looks like it's going to work. It looks like it's really, and then they'll just grow up. And I guess over. <laughs> so, it's going well so far. I got some more to do over here. And I think the tomatoes are okay in the cages. If, if I need to, I can train them up. To hang off of that so all right I'll keep going I'll just show you with this one what I'm doing so this this is the main stem here that I need to keep training and then I do have some suckers here so this guy right here you can see it's he's a sucker so I'm gonna snip him off Anything close to the ground, as far as leaves, I'll go ahead and snip off. All right, looks like that's a sucker. All right, I'll go ahead and hang this guy. this first allowing for 
more growth and girth. little more support here Okay, I'm starting to attract pests. As you can see, got some eggs on the bottom of this leaf here. Get rid of the leaf. So we got some pest pressure here. Yep, see those little, I guess those are aphids, right? Uh, I need to be looking closely. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They're hatching. That's disgusting. Look at that leaf. Let's see if... Nothing wrong with it, just... Okay, the battle starts. I guess I got to get some neem oil and all the other stuff to get the, ooh, something right there. All right, <laughs> the battle begins. Okay, I think I've finished up this portion of the work and that's to get this trellis in uh, get everything kind of cleaned up a little bit. Definitely going to have to get some insect spray because we're getting some pressure. Seeds and aphids. I don't see any uh, hook, uh, hornworms yet. So hopefully they're not doing anything. You got to look closely for them. So. I don't see any evidence yet. Cross my fingers. But everything's looking good. I opened up the uh, tomatoes on the bottom, got some more better airflow, and gives more room for the peppers. So, okay. I think the next thing I'll do is I'll finish planting my uh, tobacco over there. I've got some more to plant. So, stay tuned.